Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about transporting the logs in SnowRunner. So first of all, there's three different log sizes. There is short logs, medium logs and long logs, as you can see here in this example. And you can always check it on the log station, which logs does it offer. However, not every log station offers all the different logs. Actually, majority of them don't. And in some cases, the amount of logs they actually offer is very limited. As you can see here in this example, the numbers in the brackets represent how many logs of that kind you can actually take from there. After that, that's it. You won't be able to take any more. So as you can see in this example, I can only take three long logs from this spot and four medium logs. However, if the log station only shows you the kinds of logs it has without any brackets, that means that it has unlimited supply of that particular logs. So how do you transport the logs? Well, it depends which kind of logs you want to transport. So let's start with the short logs because they are the easiest one. The only way to transport the short logs is by installing the short logging frame on your truck. Now, when it comes to medium logs, you actually have two options. You can either install the medium logging frame on your truck if it's available on that particular truck, or you can just use the trailer. There is no trailer in the game that you can load the short logs on, unless of course you're gonna use the mods. Now, when it comes to long logs, you need to install something called log carrier front on your truck. And on top of it, you're gonna have to use a certain trailer in order to be able to transport the long logs. Now, on top of it, some trucks will allow you to install the log loading crane on them. Now, in some cases, you will be able to install the loading crane as well as logging frame at the same time on one truck. However, majority of truck don't allow it and you will have to choose one or the other. However, not every track allow you to install all kinds of logging frames on them. So how do you know which one does, which one doesn't without going one by one and checking them all? Well, one way to do it is to go to your track store. Now, if you go to your track store and you scroll through different trucks, you will see that at the very bottom, there is a button that you can press and it says beside it compatibility. And as you can see, in the case of that ASOF 64131, if you click that button, you will notice that it only supports long logs when it comes to logs anyway. So you can't install the medium frame or short frame on that truck. However, if we scroll to the next ASOF 73210, as you can see, that one allows you to install all kinds of frames that support all kinds of logs. Now, as I mentioned before, when it comes to medium logs, you can also use the trailer to load extra medium logs. And the trailer you're looking for, it's called Log Trailer. Now that one, as I mentioned, supports only medium logs. Short logs won't go in there and long logs won't go in there. It's just for medium logs. As you can see here, I have two trucks that are equipped with medium logging frame on them. And the International Paystar 5070 is able to attach the trailer on top of it. However, what game doesn't tell you, and as far as I know, there is no way of checking it in the game other than memorizing it and checking it yourself or using the external websites to check that information, is the fact that not every truck will allow you to attach the trailer, even though you have exactly the same add-on on it. So as you can see in this example with the GMC, I have medium logging frame installed on it, which is exactly the same as the international paster has beside it and i'm not able to buy the trailer for it so unfortunately you have to memorize them and as far as i know there is no way of checking it in the game but if they will ever add that information or if you know how to do it uh, let me know in the comment section and i will make sure to pin that comment now lastly let me show you how to load the long locks so as i said before for the long locks you need the lock carrier front add-on on your truck and as you can see in this example that International Paystar actually allows you to install the logging crane as well as log carrier front at the same time. Now the logging crane obviously is very useful if you overturn your truck and you lose the whole load. So then using that crane, you can actually load your logs back onto your truck. And in the case of long logs, you need a special trailer that's called log 
carrier rear. It kind of looks the same as the front version that you have on your truck, so it's not that hard to remember them. And that combination allows you to only transport the long locks. So how do you load the locks? Well, to load the locks, you need to go to the lock station. And here, using those buttons on the screen, you need to choose which locks you want to load, if that logging station has more than one to choose from. And as you can see in this example, that's how it looks when you load the long locks. Now, one thing I want to show you is if you ever overturn the truck or you lose your cargo, as you can see in this example, if you unpacked your cargo, it only shows three locks, despite the fact that just a few seconds ago, it looked like you had tens of them. But don't worry, they didn't disappear. If for whatever reason you lose the locks and then you load them back on, all you need is three locks and then you can just pack them normally and it will show like you have tens of locks fully packed. Now, one important thing to mention when you're loading the locks manually is pay attention to those little colorful dots. You can see there's two green dots and one red one. What that means is that the green locks are in a good position to be packed. However, the one with the red one obviously is not in a good position to pack. So whenever you pack them manually, make sure they're all green. Once they're all green, you can just go to the menu and just pack your cargo. And as you can see from three logs, you get tens of logs all of a sudden. And that's one full cargo of long logs. Now, if you're looking to transport two medium logs loads at the same time, the process is pretty similar as I showed you before, with one exception that once you load the medium logs onto your truck, then you need to use those buttons to switch to the trailer and then load the logs onto the trailer. And that's the whole philosophy of transporting the logs. You can do it in all kinds of ways. It's totally up to you. As you can see in this example, you can even attach the truck with the trailer to another truck with the trailer. And that way you can transport four different medium loads at the same time. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because it's very easy for something to go wrong, but it is possible. And before we finish, it's impossible to do a logging video without mentioning this truck. And this truck is a Aramatsu Forester and it's available in season six DLC. And I also made a video about it, how to get that truck once you get that DLC. And it's linked down below. So what's unique about this truck is that it can support both short and medium locks. And you choose that option based on the add-on you install on it and it already comes with the logging crane. It also has the unique turning ability which in some cases might be very helpful but then again in some cases might cause you troubles so it's totally up to you how you're gonna use this truck. And before you ask yes it is available to attach additional trailer to it so technically you can take two loads of medium logs with that particular truck. Now I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.